morning YouTube. Today we're going to do the five things I love about the Mustang EcoBoost Premium. First thing I love about the Mustang would be the track apps. We'll go in here. Hopefully you can see this good. You go in here, you have accelerometer, which will show your lateral G's and acceleration G's and braking G's. As you can see, my best lateral G so far is a 0.81 on this side. Let's see what else we got here. We got the acceler acceleration timer. 0 to 60, 0 to 30, 0 to 100, eighth mile and quarter mile. You can also test out your brake performance. 60 to 0 or 100 to 0. You have a lap timer. So if you're at the track, you can time yourself. And you can view and clear all the results. Let's see, all time best. See, my all time best 0 to 30 is 2.4. My all time best 0 to 60 is 6.1. And my all-time best 0 to 100 is 17.5 seconds. So that one I was, really wasn't trying to time to 0 to 100. So I think that could be quite a bit better. Number two, what I love about this car is this infotainment center. The SYNC 3. So you got your audio here, obviously. You can do sources, AM, FM, Sirius, CD. V20 is my phone. This is your back button. Let's see, climate. So climate, you can control it all down here. This is for driver side. And this is for passenger side. And all your different controls of where you want the cooling or heating to go. And then up here, you can also control it. For both sides, you can change everything here. got phone, recent call list, and contacts. It'll show all your contacts in here. And then let's see, you can also do text messages. And then apps, I haven't done any of this yet. I'll have to mess with that later. And then you got all your settings for sound, clock, Bluetooth, phone, 911 assist, just general settings, your media player, mobile apps, Wi Fi, Android Auto preferences, vehicle, it's just camera settings, display, voice control, and valet mode. And also, just so you can hear it real quick, I don't know, you probably, it probably won't do it justice on here, but... So you got your speakers over here. And I haven't checked in the back to see where they are, but you also have tweeters right here. Please don't mind the mess. I know it needs a good vacuuming, but number three would be the interior. These seats are very comfortable. And even in the back, you have a lot of bolstering. The back seats are a great place for kids. Not really such a great place for adults. So number four of what I love about this car this Mustang here is the looks. This car is gorgeous. You know, look at those headlights, the projectors. And then you got these three bars here. This has got fog lamps. Yes, the car is dirty. It does need a bath. 
Even though these rims aren't my favorite, it could be worse. <laughs> and then these tail lights, I love them. There's your exhaust. Just a great looking car. And number five of what I love about this car, the absolute most, is how much fun it is to drive. This car is quick. It's not the V8, it's not as fast as the V8, but it is a quick little sports coupe. Good brakes. This car is really fun to drive. Can't stress that enough. for number five to show how fun it is to drive we'll just go for a quick spin out the paddle shifters. Right now we're in second. Sorry, I would be going a bit faster, but uh, I'm kind of stuck right now in this traffic. Another thing I love too is these little blind spot mirrors that this car has. Very helpful. Very, very helpful. Back down to first gear. shifters feel real good. I kind of wish they were attached to the steering column instead of the steering wheel, but not really that big a deal. And 
nice Corvette right there. So I would say the sweet spot in this car, RPM wise for power, probably right around maybe 2,500 to 5,500 RPMs. Uh, once you hit 6,000 RPM, it's time to shift. You're not getting anything more out of it at that point. This car makes you want to drive fast, it makes you want to speed, and it makes you speed when you're not even realizing it. You will... All the time I look down and I'll see that I'm doing like 20 over the speed limit. As far as handling, this car handles great. down the 30 mile per hour zone or slow down so is anybody out there um, contemplating buying the EcoBoost Mustang if you are just a uh, Shoot me uh, questions in the in the comment section. I'll, I'll answer them for you and tell you how I feel about whatever you're asking. I owned the car for a month now and um, really am enjoying it. I don't know if you can see that but with all that uh, driving 15.3 average miles per gallon so if you're playing around a lot that's what happens but it sure is hard not to play Well guys, that's that's about it. Um, that was the five things I love about this car and overall I do love this car. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's just um, prepare for higher insurance costs and higher fuel costs. But if you're good with that, this is a great car to buy. You'll have a lot of fun with it. You guys have a great day. We'll see you later.